Hello lovely people, I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe and in this crochet tutorial we will make an Eastern Dragon. I'm so excited for this project, thank you very much for the suggestion. I had so much fun creating this pattern for you and can't wait to share it with you. It will be divided in two parts, so the second part will be published on Friday. Just a little heads up when crocheting the lower and upper jaw my mic failed me so in that part of the tutorial i recorded a voice over for the video so if that sounds a little strange then that's why but the rest of the tutorial is recorded with audio while i crochet as usual so with that being said let's get into what materials we need for our dragons for this project, I'm using Schäfjes Katona, which is a fingering or four ply yarn, and it's 100% cotton. But of course, you could also use acrylic yarn or any kind of yarn you like. And cotton is just my personal preference. And you could also use a DK or light worsted weight yarn. That also works very well in combination with a 2.5 millimeter hook, which is something in between a size B1 and C2. Um, I'm also using a two millimeter hook, which is a size A0, I believe. Um, I only use it for the teeth that we'll make. Um, so uh, it would be helpful to have a smaller size hook as well for this part to make them uh, look a bit neater. And when it comes to colors, um, yeah, just be as creative as you like. I'm using a different color scheme for this dragon uh, than um, what I had for the previous one. So you need one main color, which um, is going to be this one for me, uh, called Jade. You may need more than one skein. These are the 50 gram skeins. Um, I'll, I don't know exactly yet i'll um, blend it in somewhere here when editing then you need another color for the spines you won't need that much um, in this color another color for the underbelly then for the uh, gums i'm using this scarlet color for the tongue and the flames i'm using um red and orange and then an off-white color for the teeth. Then we'll need five millimeter safety eyes. You can just use the black ones or if you like you can follow along with me and paint them. I'm using this um, glittery purple nail polish. You can just use whatever you have or whatever you like and also a clear nail. Uh, nail varnish and um, it's not I know it doesn't look clear but it is clear enough and <laughs> just to um, give it a final clear coat so this is optional and we also need some fiber fill of course and definitely more than this um, for now it should be enough to start with then we need um, two stitch markers a yarn needle pins a large eye sewing needle for the embroidery part for the eyes. And for this part, we also need a small amount of black embroidery floss and scissors. So I'm trying not to have too much varnish in my brush. And I'm going to Paint a crescent shape on one side of the eye. So I leave a long black pupil in the center. Now I do the other side.
So the eyes had enough time to dry now. So it's time for the clear top coat. Just going over it. And that's it. Now I'll just leave them to dry thoroughly before using them. So we start crocheting the lower jaw and for this we need the main color. So whichever color you chose is the main one. And we begin by making a loop on our hook and then we make three chains. Then we make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in the next and last chain we make four single crochet. So two of them go in this side and then we turn and make two more single crochet in the same chain from the other side. And then we make three single crochet in the first chain that we crocheted in, but from this side. So in here, we make three single crochet. And that's round one done. So now we have a little round of eight stitches. In round two, we single crochet in all eight stitches. Just one single crochet in each of them. In round three, we start increasing, so we begin with three single crochet. And then we make an increase in the fourth stitch. And then re we repeat all of this once more, three single crochet. And one increase in the last stitch. So now our round has 10 stitches. And in round four, we make one single crochet in each of those 10 stitches.
in round five, we continue increasing. We start with four single crochet. And then we make an increase in the fifth stitch. And then we repeat everything once more for single crochet. And an increase in the last stitch. In round six, we single crochet in all 12 stitches that we now have. In round seven, we make one single crochet, then an increase in the next stitch. Then we have five single crochet. An increase in the next stitch. And four single crochet. And the lower jaw is now complete, so here we can fasten off. We need a long enough yarn end to sew the lower and upper jaw together. It doesn't need to be that long, maybe 20 centimeters, 8 inches. And now we can set it aside for later and crochet the upper jaw next. So again, we need our main color and for this one, we start with five chains. Then we make three single crochet starting in the second chain from our hook. And again, we make four single crochet in the last chain. Two from this side. And then two from the other side. Then we make two single crochet, one in each of the next two chains from this side that we're on now.
So opposite of the existing single crochet stitch there, that's where we insert our hook and make a single crochet. And then we do the same with the next chain opposite of the next single crochet stitch and make a single crochet here. And then we make three single crochet in the last chain. The same way we did with the lower jaw. And now we have a round of 12 stitches. Now in the next round we crochet the whiskers. So we start with 21 chains or at least that's what I'm going to do. But actually you could make the whiskers much longer if you prefer. So feel free to imp improvise here. Let me show you how it looks with a 21 chain long. Uh, with 21 chain long whiskers, this is the length that I'm going for, but you could make them much longer if you like. So make as many chains as you like. And then we're going to slip stitch in each chain, starting in the second one from our hook. So for me, this will be 20 slip stitches. And try not to make them too tight. I always pull the end of the whisker when making a slip stitch to make sure that I don't make them too tight because we want a nice and straight um, line and we don't want it to curl too much or become too short. And you can give it a little pull once in a while. And once you're all the way back to um, the base, you can make four single crochets starting in the first stitch here. And then we make the other whisker. So However many chains you made for the first one, you can now make on this side. And then again, we make as many single crochet as we made chains, minus one, because we start in the second chain from the hook. Mm -hmm. 
and then we make eight single crochet, one in each of the remaining eight stitches. In round three, we start increasing, so we begin with five single crochet. We just need to fold the whisker towards us to make it easier to crochet in the first stitch here. That's two, three. four and then we need to fold the whisker towards us again to crochet in the next stitch that's five single crochet and now we make an increase in the next stitch And then we repeat all of this, so five single crochet. And an increase in the last stitch. So now our round has 14 stitches and in the next five rounds, rounds four to eight, we will single crochet one in each of these 14 stitches. So you can pause the video here and hit play once you completed the next five rounds of 14 single crochet. So rounds four to eight of the upper jaw are complete now and please don't fasten off. We continue crocheting in just a bit. Uh, I just pull out the loop a bit so that um, I don't lose my stitch. Um, just a little heads up, my mic just failed me and it's very windy today. So um, you may pick up on the sound of the wind. I apologize for that. I don't want to postpone recording this video because of that. So I hope you don't mind. And so we now connect the upper jaw and the lower jaw. And so this side where we have the whiskers coming out, that's the top side. And so we lay this down now in front of us with the top side facing the surface and this is the bottom side of the upper jaw jaw and um, here we have the lower jaw and we will need this yarn end to sew both together and so this goes now um, this side where we have the yarn end that goes um, facing down and the other side facing up on top of the upper jaw. And now we need our two stitch markers. So now we have both together and what we want to do is find the 
five stitches in the center that we will crochet together. So one, two, three, four, five, that's what I would say, are the stitches for the lower jaw. And then here, one, two, three, four, five. So we connect them just to make sure we sew the right stitches together. So for the lower jaw, for me, it might be different for you, but I think this first stitch next to the last one of the round should be the fifth stitch that, that aligns with the fifth um, center stitch of the upper jaw. So I'm just placing my stitch marker here. So this is now one, then two, three, four, five. So these two make up the fifth center stitch. So for me, this is the stitch before the last stitch of the round for the upper jaw. It might be different for you because we all have different tension when crocheting. So what is important now is that they are on top of each other and that it looks right from all angles. You can just check and make sure that this is how they fit together. And once you're happy with that, you can take your yarn needle and sew these five stitches together. So because I have this odd looking stitch here, that's the first one of the round. I'm starting here. So I remove this now because I know where to sew going through both of these. And I just use a whip stitch. So just going from the same direction through the next two corresponding stitches. And now the next two. the next two and removing the stitch marker going through the next two stitches and then we just need to secure the seam we just made I just make a knot by just picking up this loop here, then going through the loop, just making a knot like that. And then once again, just going through this, this loop here, and then going through the loop we just made and pulling that tight. And we can then hide this yarn end In the upper jaw and then we can continue crocheting. So I place my stitch marker in the last stitch and now round nine starts with a six increases So here I just fell in the trap of crocheting in this stitch next. But as you can see, that's one of the stitches that we sewed together with the upper jaw. And so we don't want to crochet in this one. This here 
is the next stitch to crochet in. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the last one. The upper jaw again. Twelve. And now we have them both connected. So from here we continue crocheting the head in one piece. So in the next five rounds, rounds 10 to 14, we single crochet in the 24 stitches that our round now has. So here you can pause the video once again and hit play once you completed these five rounds. The five rounds of 24 single crochet are done now and in round 15 we start with three single crochet then we make a decrease and so we go in the front loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the next one pick up the yarn, pull it through these two front loops and then pick up the yarn again to pull it through the two remaining loops. Then we have six single crochet. And then as another decrease then again six single crochet and another decrease And then we have three single crochet in the remaining three stitches. So now our stitch count is 21. And in round 16, we decrease fur further. So we start with five single crochet. And then we decrease and we repeat this two more times. Five single crochet and a decrease. and finish with a decrease. So now our round has 18 stitches. And in round 17, we single crochet in all 18 stitches.
So now I'm going to secure my last stitch with a stitch marker because this is a good time to place the safety eyes. But before we do that, we will crochet the nose and the part that goes on top of the head because this will help us determine the ideal placement for the safety eyes. So now grab whichever color you want to use for that part. I'm using this silvery green color and we start with four chains. Now we make a single crochet in the second chain and then a half double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over, go through the next chain, pick up the yarn, pull it through and then pick up the yarn and pull it through all three loops. And now I repeat the same in the same chain. And then we single crochet in the next chain here, the next and last chain. Then we chain and turn. So this part is crocheted in rows. And then we single crochet in the first stitch, half double crochet in each of these of double crochet stitches and single crochet in the next stitch. Chain and turn. Then we single crochet in the first stitch. And here we make a decrease. Now, um, when crocheting in rows, I usually just skip stitches to make decreases, but since this is going to be the top side, I will instead make an invisible decrease the same way we just did for the head by just crocheting the two next front loops together. And then we make a single crochet in the last stitch here. Chain and turn. Now we have five rows of three single crochet. So just one. Two. Three, chain and turn. That was row four, now row five. Three single crochet, chain and turn, row six. Row seven, row eight, chain and turn. In row nine, we make a single crochet in the first stitch. A regular increase in the next stitch, so two single crochet in here and a single crochet in the last stitch. Chain and turn. In row 10 we single crochet in the first stitch and then we have two increases in a row. One increase 
and another increase and a single crochet in the last stitch chain and turn then we have a single crochet in the next stitch an increase in the next two single crochet an increase and a single crochet chain and turn and now we have two rows of eight single crochet That's eight, chain and turn, and one more row of eight, single crochet. And that's row 13 done. And now from here we crochet in the side of each row. So we start by simply making another single crochet in the same spot, but from the side. And that's one. And the next one goes in this next gap here. Two. The next one in here, three in here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now we crochet in the other side of the three base, base chains that we started with. So one in here, one in here, and one in here. And now we crochet in the other side. And so the next single crochet goes in the same spot. It's one. And again in the side of each row. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And here we fasten off, leaving a long yarn end for sewing. This one I leave quite long, just to be on the safe side. And I'll already make my invisible finish. So I just cheat in an extra stitch here by going through the first stitch of the last row and then I go th through in between the front and back loop of the last stitch we just crocheted and 
in this way we connect these two the begin the beginning of the last row and the end of this round that we just crocheted for a neater finish and so now we can embroider the nose here on this end of this piece and so for this we need our large eyed sewing needle and some black embroidery floss And so when embroidering, it's best to go through in between the fibers, not in between stitches, because this gives you, gives you more control over where the stitch goes. So if we would go in between stitches here, then there wouldn't be much control. But we stitch through the fibers, and this way the stitch goes exactly where we want it to be. So we have these three center single crochet here. And so I use the second one as the center point. And here's where I start um, embroidering the nose. So we have these two loops that make up the center single crochet. I go through, through the right one first. And now I make a slightly diagonal upward stitch. And then already go through where the next stitch goes. So that's again facing, it's a shorter stitch facing a sideways and downward again diagonally now I go through here again and now I make a tiny stitch towards this starting point but it's just very small so at the same time I go through the starting point for the left side for the left nostril and for the, this one I start on the left loop of the center um, single crochet That should be okay. So that's one nostril done already. Now again I'm making like an upward, slightly diagonal stitch. And then making the shorter outward diagonal stitch. Going through here again to complete the stitch. And then finishing with a tiny stitch toward this starting point. And here I just go through. To the other side and so we can leave it at that or if you want you can make it bolder by going through 
the starting point again of the right the starting point of the right nostril from our perspective left nostril of the dragon and now you can go through underneath this stitch I go through it twice, making sure not to catch any of the fibers. Now I go through this next stitch here, underneath, just once, and going through the third tiny stitch here. And that makes the nostril appear a bit bolder. Now I repeat all of this on the other side. Going through the starting point here. And I go through this stitch twice again. Then I go once through this shorter stitch. And once through the tiny stitch. And then again, stitch through to the other side. And this way the nostrils look a bit bolder. So now I just tie these ends together. and cut them short. So I pinned this top part in place to help me find the right placement for the safety eyes. So the nose aligns with the tip of the mouth here and then I just pinned it, pinned it on the same way that I will be sewing it on later. And so here, where we have the two single crochet in the corner, that's where I want the safety eye to go, like right next to it. So here I already um, opened the, or tried to widen the gap between stitches to get the safety eye in. Let me show you with the other dragon. So here we have the two single crochet in the same stitch and then the eye is underneath the next two stitches. Now I just need to decide on the color. I made orange eyes as well. And I'm really undecided. I wish this would be live so that I could ask for your opinion. Um, I really love these glittery eyes and I like the idea of them being tone in tone, but these probably pop better. <laughs> so maybe it's better to have a contrast. I'll just go for these. And so 
So this looks like it's a good placement for the eye. Now on the other side, we have this last stitch that we made and the uh, little fake stitch here. So they count as the two corner stitches and then the eye will go underneath the next two stitches. So two stitches in the corner and then it can go here. So I just carefully widen the gap again. And that's where the other eye goes. Actually, we can remove this now. We'll need it later when we assemble everything. So if you have painted eyes, you just need to make sure that they are in the right direction. So we want the pupil to be vertical. There we go. Before we secure the safety eyes, we can embroider an eyeline around them to make them bolder and so I have this pointy, pointy large-eyed sewing needle again with my black embroidery floss and I start on the inside of the head on any side um, in the at the outer corner of the eye leaving a long enough yarn, um, thread end to later tie together. And now I embroider a kind of diamond shape around the eye like this. So now I'm going underneath it. And here goes the same as for the nose, it's better to go through the individual fibers, not in between stitches. And now I try to find the inner corner of the eye, wherever I want that to go. and as close to the eye as possible. That's why I didn't secure it yet. And again, the corner underneath the eye. And then again, going back to the inner corner. Then finding the upper corner. And the outer corner again and the upper corner so this is how it looks now you can leave it at that or repeat all of these steps so I'm starting at the outer corner again and repeat all of these stitches.
So that's it. Now we can tie the thread ends together. And hide them inside the head and then we can secure the safety eye and that's it so now we can repeat all of these steps on the other side before we fill the head with fiber pill and continue crocheting now it's time to fill the head with fiber fill I'm not filling this now, just the head. That should be enough for now. So let's go ahead and continue crocheting. So we continue with round 18 in which we start with three half double crochet. Then we have six double crochet. When making the double crochet, try to crochet very tightly because it's almost inevitable that some of the fiber fill will show through and we want to minimize that as much as possible. Then we have three half double crochet. And six single crochet. Round 19 starts with one single crochet, then three half double crochet, six double crochet, Three, three half double crochet. That's it. And five single crochet.
in rounds 20 to 22. So the next three rounds, we start with two single crochet. Then three half double crochet. Six double crochet. Three half double crochet. And four single crochet. So you can pause the video here and repeat this exact round of two single crochet, three half double crochet, six double crochet, three half double crochet, and four single crochet two more times. That's rounds 20 to 22 done. Uh, Fill this part with fiber fill before continuing. So just keep doing that as you go. Anytime you feel like uh, it's better to fill because it will get more difficult the more the, the longer the body gets. So that's enough for now, I think. In round 23, we start with five single crochet. And then we make an increase in the next stitch. And we re repeat this two more times. five single crochet and an increase. And one more time. It's five single crochet and an increase in the last stitch. So now our round has 21 stitches and in the next nine rounds, rounds 24 to 32, 
We will single crochet in all 21 stitches. So you can pause the video here and hit play once you completed the next nine rounds of 21 single crochet. Rounds 24 to 32 are done now and I added more fiber fill. So now in round 33, we start with 14 single crochet. Then we have four half double crochet. And three double crochet. In rounds 34 and 35, we start with four double crochet. Then four half double crochet. Next, we make six single crochet. Then four half double crochet. And three double crochet. And now you can pause the video and repeat this round and hit play once you completed round 35. That's round 35 done. In round 36, we start with five double crochet. Then four half double crochet. Six 
six single crochet four half double crochet and two double crochet. I added some more fiber fill and now in the next three rounds, rounds 37 to 39, we start with six double Then four half double crochet. Six single crochet. four half double crochet and one double crochet So you can pause the video here and repeat this round two more times. Rounds 37 to 39 are done now and I added more fiber fill. And now in the next three rounds, rounds 40 to 42, we start with seven double crochet. Then four half double crochet. Six single crochet. And four half double crochet. And here you can pause the video and make two more rounds just like this one. Rounds 40 to 42 are done now. And in the next three rounds, rounds 43 to 45, we start with 
one half double crochet. Then we make seven double crochet. Then four half double crochet. Six single crochet. And three half double crochet. And here again, you can pause the video and repeat two more rounds just like this one. Rounds 43 to 45 are done. And in round 46, we start the same way with one half double crochet and seven double crochet. Then four half double crochet. And then we single crochet in all nine remaining stitches. Now in round 47, we increase. So we start with an increase. And then we make six single crochet. And we repeat this two more times, one increase, and six single crochet. And once more, an increase and six single crochet.
So now our round has 24 stitches and in the next five rounds, rounds 48 to 52, we single crochet in all 24 of them. So here you can pause the video and play it once you completed the next five rounds of 24 single crochet. Now the five rounds of 24 single crochet are done. And as you can see, I keep filling the body with fiber fill as I go. In the next round, round 54, sorry, 53, we start with 12 single crochet. And then we make four half double crochet. And eight double crochet. Round 54 starts with four half double crochet. Then we make eight single crochet. Or half double crochet and eight double crochet. The next three rounds, rounds 55 to 57, start with one double crochet. Then one half double crochet. Sorry, four half double crochet, I meant.
eight single crochet four half double crochet and seven double crochet. So you can pause the video here and complete two more rounds just like this one. Rounds 55 to 57 are done and in round 58 to 50, oh sorry to 60 so the next three rounds we begin with two double crochet. Then four half double crochet. Eight single crochet. Four half double crochet. And six double crochet. So here you can pause the video again and crochet the next two rounds just like this one. Rounds 58 to 60 are done now and in round rounds 61 to 63, the next three rounds, we start with three double crochet. Then four half double crochet. Eight single crochet. Four half double crochet. And 
and five double crochet. So here you can pause the video again and crochet two more rounds like this one. The next set of three rounds is done. And now in round 64, we start with four double crochet. And four half double crochet. Eight single crochet. for half double crochet. And four double crochet. In round 65, we started with four double crochet again. Then four half double crochet. And then we finished the round with 16 single crochet. And in the next two rounds, round 66 and 67, we single crochet in all 24 stitches. So you can pause the video here and hit play once you've done that. Round 66 and 67 are done now. And in round 68, um, and the next 
three rounds actually, we gradually decrease. So in round 68, we start with one decrease and then we just single crochet in all remaining 22 stitches. So you can pause the video here and finish the round. Round 68 is done now and in round 69 we start with 11 single crochet. Then we make a decrease and then we single crochet in the remaining 10 stitches. In round 70, we start with a decrease again. And then we single crochet in the remaining 20 stitches of the round. So here you can pause the video again and do this in your own time. Round 70 is done. And in the next three rounds, round 71 to 73, we start with three single crochet. Then we make four half double crochet. and then seven double crochet. Then we have four half double crochet again. And three single crochet. So here you can pause the video again and crochet the next two rounds like this one. Rounds 71 to 73 are done now and in the next three rounds, round 74 to 76, we start with four single crochet. Then we have four half double crochet. Then 
then seven double crochet Four half double crochet again. And two single crochet. And now you can pause the video and crochet two more rounds just like this one. Round 74 to 76 are done. And in round 77 to 79, we start with five single crochet. Then we make four half double crochet. And then seven double crochet. Four half double crochet. And a single crochet in the last stitch. So you can pause the video here and repeat this round two more times, two crochet rounds, 78 and 79. Round 77 to 79 are done. Now in the next three rounds, rounds 80 to 82, we start with six single crochet. Then we have four half double crochet. Then seven double crochet. And four half double crochet.
So here you can again pause the video and make two more rounds just like this one. That's rounds 80 to 82 complete. And in the next two rounds, rounds 83 and 84, we just make 21 single crochet, one in each stitch. So you can pause the video again and play it once you've done that. The two rounds of 21 single crochet are done. And in the next three rounds, we gradually decrease. So round 85, we start with a decrease. And then we single crochet in the remaining 19 stitches of the round. So you can pause the video and do this in your own time. In round 86, we start with nine single crochet. And then we make a decrease. Then we single crochet in the remaining nine stitches. In round 87, we start again with a decrease. And then we single crochet in the remaining 17 stitches of the round. So you can do that in your own time and pause the video here. Now in round 88, we start with 15 single crochet. And then we finished the round with three half double crochet. Now in the next three rounds, rounds 89 to 91, we start with six double crochet.
Then we make three half double crochet. Then six single crochet. And we finished the round with three half double crochet. And here you can pause the video again and complete the next two rounds the same way as this one. Rounds 89 to 91 are done now. So this is how the body looks so far. And the next two rounds, rounds 92 and 93. Start with a half double crochet. Then six double crochet. Then we have three half double crochet. Six single crochet. and two half double crochet. So here you can pause the video and make one more round just like this, round 93. Round 93 is done and in round 94 we start again with one half double crochet, then six double crochet, three half double crochet and eight single crochet. That's round 94 complete and in the next five rounds, rounds 95 to 99, we single crochet in all 18 stitches of the round. So you can pause the video here and hit play 
once you've done five rounds of 18 single crochet. So five rounds of 18 single crochet are done now. And in the next round, we will decrease. So round 100 starts with two single crochet. And then we make a decrease. Next, we have four single crochet. And the decrease. And again, four single crochet. And the decrease. And two single crochet. So now our round has 15 stitches and in the next two rounds, rounds 101 and 102, we single crochet in all 15 stitches of the round. So you can pause the video here and hit play once you crochet the next two rounds of 15 single crochet. In round 103, we continue decreasing. So here we start with three single crochet. And then we make a decrease. And we repeat this two more times. Three single crochet. and a decrease and finish with a decrease again so now our round has 12 stitches and in the next two rounds, rounds 104 and 105, we'll single crochet in all 12 stitches. So you can pause the video and hit play once you've done that. Now is a good opportunity to add more fiber fill if necessary, because in the next round we continue decreasing and after that it might get difficult to uh, get larger amounts of fiber fill in. So in round 106, we start with one single crochet and then we decrease then we make two single crochet and decrease and again two single crochet and decrease And we finish the round with a single crochet. In the next two rounds, rounds 107 and 108, 
we single crochet in all nine stitches of the round so you can pause the video once more and play it once you've crocheted the next two rounds of nine single crochet and that's done and now we only have two rounds left so in round 109 we make one single crochet and decrease and we repeat this two more times one single crochet and a decrease and once more a single crochet and decrease so now we have six stitches in the round and in the final round round 110 we single crochet in all six stitches And that's it, the body is done now. I'm just gonna try to distribute the fiber fill so that it also fills a bit of this tail end here. So now we can fasten off. And close the round so we need our yarn needle and we go through the front loops of all six stitches Then we go through the center of the last round. And now we can weave in the yarn end. And cut that short. So now we completed the head and very long body of the Eastern Dragon. And this marks the end of part one of this tutorial. I'm super excited to continue this project with you. I will post part two of the tutorial on Friday. I still haven't fully recorded it and I need to edit it. So thank you for bearing with me. I just hope you're enjoying the project. If you did, if you do, please um, like this video for me and comment below if you have any name suggestions for the dragon, this one and the, the golden yellow one. I would be thankful for some inspiration from you. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you don't miss my notification when part two of the tutorial drops. Thank you very much for being here and talk to you soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.